Google Classroom actually includes kind of a hidden little feature that you probably didn't notice where you can actually draw on the work that students have provided you. So if they've done a, a handout or a, an essay or drawings file, really anything that they've submitted to you, you can actually access that and draw on it freehand to mark it or do little check boxes or a star or anything you might want really. The hiccup is that you have to do it on mobile. So let's take a look here at Classroom for just a second. I've got Classroom going, and in our current classroom right here, I've got some classwork I assigned, and I had assigned this little like fake history essay. I've got one assigned and one already graded. So if I jump to that, I can see right now my Elena student has it assigned to her. Click on her, just refresh real quick. There's the document and I've already marked it for this other account. So I'm gonna work with Elena's account. So to do that, um, what I'm gonna do is jump into the mobile version of this so that we can actually see it on my phone. So I'm gonna to switch to that right now. Here I've got my phone up. I'm gonna open that and there we go, right from classroom. So here's our classroom at the very top. I'm gonna to tap on that. And what I'm gonna do from there is go ahead and tap on at the bottom here where we've got class work. And I'll find that history assignment. There it is, the history essay. There's Elena. And there's the work that she's got, that she's started and, and done some work on. So if I tap that Google document, it's gonna open up first and show me what's said there. So I can turn that sideways and I can zoom in and I can see what's going on. And she suggested the guy on the bottom is about to win, which is correct. So what I can do here on mobile that I can't do on the browser, at the top of the screen here, I've got a little pencil. So I'm going to tap that pencil. Opens up this sort of other black screen, and I've got uh, some tools at the bottom. So I've got these tools. I set up a nice thick red pen for myself, but there's other tools down here I could use as well, including some text options if I wanted to. I can start typing. I'm going to go with the marker for a second. And I'll just sort of, let's see, two fingers. I can zoom in. He's about to win. Check. That is correct. Because he has him in a triangle choke. And I can say save. And it saves. You'll notice that little PDF icon there. It's actually creating a new version of the document right now. So I haven't actually made any mess of the original. There it is. It just slid, slid back over to the original. And I'll tap the little X here. And we see now in Classroom, there's actually two files sitting there instead of just the one from before. So let's take a look at that on actual classroom here. If I go back to my regular classroom in the browser, I can now see there's actually two files attached here. So there's the one that she had originally worked on, and now there's this one that I have edited, essentially. I've done some markup on. So I can click that and open it up, and it's a PDF sort of version of it, or at least it will be. Right now I'm looking at the document version. You can see that over on the right side here. Um, but when I click here on the PDF option, it's going to open what I had already worked on. And here I can see there's my little check and my triangle that I drew on there. So if there's any little tweaks and modifications or something I want to remind myself about there, when I turn around to do my grading, then I can do that. Look at the grade and be like, oh, good, right, that's what I'd said. And maybe I did that sort of on my phone, like I did here, or I did that on an iPad possibly. It would be a lot easier, I would think. Um, to do that kind of thing and then leave my little comment great work And I can return that to the student so she's going to be able to get that marked up version If maybe it was a math question and I had added something to it or it was um, Obviously in this case I've added sort of a little diagram to talk about the technique being used It just depends on what it is you want to add to those documents when you mark them up for those students Point being that you actually have that option when you use any of your mobile devices, a mobile Google Classroom app. So that might be, again, on your phone or it might be on a larger tablet type device, but it's a handy option whenever you want to do some sort of hand style markup on your work.